Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject software engineering was UML. So actually this is one of the unified modeling language. So with the, uh, with the help of this UML language, we are designing the software project. UML stands for Unified Modeling Language. Okay. So actually this UML it is an industry it is an industry standard industry standard graphical language graphical language for specifying visualizing constructing and documenting and documenting the artifacts of software system so that is the definition of unified modeling language actually this unified modeling language is a we call it as an industry standard graphical language so why we are using this uh, uh, graphical language for specifying visualizing constructing and documenting the artifacts of software system actually this uml mostly uh, uml uses mostly graphical notations to express the object oriented analysis and the design of the software pro program so it's just to design the software program and to express the analysis of the object oriented program we use this graphical notations so uml combines the techniques from uml unified modeling language combines techniques from techniques from data modeling business modeling data modeling business modeling object modeling object modeling and component modeling component modeling and can be used throughout the software development life cycle so this unified modeling language combines all these modeling techniques and it uh, throughout the software development life cycle now let us see uh, what are the modeling uh, what is a modeling and the different types of modeling modeling there is a difference between a UML model and a set of diagrams of a system. Actually, if you take any diagram, a diagram is a partial graphical representation of system model. Just it is a, a diagram, a diagram that is used to represent the system that is a pictorial representation. A diagram is a partial graphical representation just representation of system model so UML diagram represents two different views of system models what are those two views of system models UML, UML diagram represents two different views of system model so what are those two views of system model so one is the static model or we call it as a structural view and another is the second one is dynamic dynamic or behavior view behavioral view so the dynamic comes into the behavioral and the static comes into the structure 
so what is this a static view and the dynamic view so these two views or the uh, uml or whatever the uml diagram you have taken that represents two different views of system either it prefer the static view or it is a dynamic view based on the user required and the based on the configurations of the system they can prefer any of the view and they, we are going to develop the uml diagram with the help of this static or dynamic now let us see what is a static that is a structural view the view emphasizes the static structure the static structure of system so this static structure of system can be emphasized by using using objects attributes operations and relationships that you call it as a static view and what is the example for this the static or structural view example is a class diagram class diagram or you can take the composite structural diagram also and now coming to the dynamic or behavioral view what is the dynamic or behavioral view here the view emphasizes emphasizes the dynamic behavior so here it is a static behavior and here it is a dynamic behavior of the system by showing by showing collaboration among objects collaboration among objects so in the static view this view emphasizes by using the objects but dynamic is showing the behavior of the system by showing uh, collaboration among objects and changes the uh, changes to the internal states of object internal states of object so by seeing this we will get that an idea that means dynamic is nothing but is going to change some operation it is a dynamic behavior the behavior is changing the object's behavior is changing the static is a constant it is a structural view by using this structural uh, this view emphasizes static structure using the objects attributes operations and relationships and what is the example for this dynamic view the example for dynamic view is sequence diagram sequence diagram activity diagram state machine diagram okay so this is a two modeling the modeling techniques can be followed either uh, graphical view uh, that is a structural view or the behavioral view the uml models can be uh, you can draw if it is a class diagram it is a static view if you are supposed to draw this sequence diagram, activity diagram, state machines diagram, then it comes under the dynamic view. So let me just uh, give the overview of the UML diagrams. So that is a UML model diagrams, unified modeling language diagram. So here it is a diagram. So whatever the diagram, that diagram is divided into either structure diagram or behavior diagram. The diagram means the concept can be drawn in structure diagram and it shows the behavior diagram the uh, whatever the project you are taking whatever the module you are taking that module can be represented in structure diagram and behavior diagram you have to represent in both ways so structure comes the profile diagram class diagram composite structure diagram component diagram object diagram deployment diagram and the package diagram so these are all comes under the structure diagrams so seven diagrams will comes under the structure diagram now coming to the behavior diagram behavior diagram is it showing behavior means the dynamically the uh, changes will be done means the flow will be going on so that is the activity diagram use case diagram interaction diagram state machine diagram so again this interaction diagram maybe you call the sequence diagram communication diagram interaction overview diagram and the timing diagram 
so this sequence communication interaction timing will comes under the interaction diagrams so this shows the behavior of the system and this shows the structure of the system this is a uml diagram overview thank you